Weininger is currently the Director of Administration for Brown County. He previously served as a member of the State Assembly for the 4th District. Like Grant Genrick, he also worked on legislative staffs at the state and federal level. Weininger also served on the Brown County Board and as City of Green Bay Clerk. Well, with just a few days left before the election on Tuesday, we are joined by Chad Weininger to talk about his run for mayor. Thank you so much for being here with a few more days left to go. Yes, it's uh, just around the corner. Tuesday is a big day and I'm hoping people have a chance to get out and vote. It's a big election. So why run for mayor? Well, uh, as, a, as a father of four young children, mm -hmm. I'm like deeply concerned about the future and direction of the city of Green Bay and I want to ensure mm -hmm that my children, their grandchildren have the same opportunities I had uh, growing up here, if not better. And the reality is, is with the massive tax increases and tax shifts that we've seen over the last four years, it's harder to afford to live in Green Bay. Um, and even with those tax increases, we still have uh, decaying and crumbling infrastructure and roads. Uh, many of our neighborhoods are less safe than they were four years ago. And we, you know, lack a visible leader you know, out in the community promoting Green Bay, attracting investment here, and that's one of our larger problems. And as I was talking about before, you know, I'm a proven, uh, you know, I have a proven leader in bringing people together in a nonpartisan way to get the job done. In the legislature, I kind of talked about a little bit what I did, but also as the director of administration. You know, I brought people together. We did the paper making quarter, which allowed uh, Green Bay packaging to expand. That was over a half a billion dollar investment in our community that would have went to Arkansas. And that's gonna allow future generations to have good paying jobs right here in Green Bay. The other thing that uh, I did and worked with is I brought folks together to put together the polium plant purchases, which is gonna facilitate and allow the coal piles to move. And more importantly, it's going to provide the raw uh, materials that our industry in northeastern Wisconsin needs uh, to, you know, to ensure that we have, um, you know, that good economic base that's going to support jobs. Uh, the other thing, too, is if you remember from covering the county, mm -hmm. some of our budget meetings used to take two days, two yes, days. I've been in those be long meetings. Be before I got there. <laughs> and we got it down to a point where it's like our budget meetings can last up to 30 minutes. And the reason why we do that is because we don't have an antagonistic relationship with our 26 board supervisors. We work with them. Sometimes we disagree, but mm -hmm. we bring them together to find that common goal. And over the last eight years, we've been able to do that. And we're able to do that because we don't play partisan politics at the county. We bring people together and we do what's right and move forward, which is take care of county business. So you talked a little bit about your priorities, right? Sure. You said taxes, roads, violence, and then you kind of talked about your long-term impact of what you'd like to see as leader sure. of Green Bay. So, but what is that one big issue that you feel Green Bay should be focusing on right now? Well, honestly, I've been doing doors for the last, uh, <laughs> the last five months, sure. a lot of talking to a lot of folks. And it really comes down to uh, our roads. Okay. It, it comes yeah. down to making our neighborhoods safer. And it's really economic development. And r the, the key is economic development. Uh, with the economic development, it actually will help offset some of these massive tax increases we've had. And for the first time in my lifetime, the city of Green Bay actually you know, fell behind five, five other municipalities. Um, usually we're always kind of, you know, uh, jumbling around Ashwaubenon, but the problem is, is we're, we're known as one of the worst places to do business in, and we're, we're, we're seeing that. So what's so important about development is we need that net new construction coming in to help fund the services that help with our roads, help, you know, fight crime, help ensure that our, our neighborhoods are strong and by, you know, making sure our parks are open during the summer and, you know, our, we're fully staffed Swimming at the pools. pools. Yes, <laughs> yeah. exactly. And you kind of touched on this bipartisan issue. We've all seen the partisan, the partisan ta attack ads, excuse me, not yeah. bipartisan, but partisan attack ads, uh, despite the office, as you said, should be nonpartisan. So how do you feel that has affected the election? Well, th this is the issue, is that no one's talking about these local issues. You know, Eric, I've tried to, I, I've tried to talk. I've, I've agreed to every debate. Unfortunately, there was only one debate. Right. And I want to talk about what I would do differently for roads, what I would do differently for public safety, i.e. making neighborhood safety, and what I would do for development. But the problem is, is all these ads are talking about state and federal issues. It's like, listen, I don't, I'm not running for Congress. I don't want to debate uh, aid to Ukraine or arming Ukraine, that's, that's not what the, the mayor's office is about. The mayor's office is about making sure your garbage is picked up effectively and efficiently, 
making sure that the st uh, streets are safe, making sure the st streets don't have you know a million potholes, potholes are in them. Yes, and that that's the that's the key that we we need to focus on. And uh, and part of it is the other important piece is we need to get the mayor back out in the community getting them involved in the neighborhoods and that's something that I started with the former mayor was the neighborhood walk and talks. We actually used to go into the neighborhoods, help solve the issues. Some neighborhoods are great, some neighborhoods don't have a lot of issues, some others do, they have drive-by shootings. And what we need to do is we need to get in the neighborhood and help solve the, the, those issues at that local level and, and our job is to serve. It's not to sit in City Hall and you know talk about political issues, uh, at the state and federal issues, it's to get in the neighborhoods and help build the community and make it stronger. And that's why I'm running. I, I, I really care about our community. I've been here for a long time and I'm very invested in it. And, you know, I want to make sure I, like, when my little guy who's four, <laughs> when he's 16 or 18 and when he goes on to college, he's going to want to come back here. Or stay like I did and went to St. Louis. So. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Um, you know, just a, a final message to voters on Tuesday. What do you want them to remember about your campaign and what you would do yeah. for so, Green Bay? So just remember this. P please remember this. Mm -hmm. Everything I've been talking about hasn't been attacking someone's state or federal issue that doesn't do with the, the do with. They can't control. <laughs> they can't control at the mayor's sure. office. The mayor is really the guy or the person that's responsible for managing the city and carrying out a vision. I have eight years proven experience doing that in a nonpartisan way. Uh, just look at the county. We do things, we do things right. If we do something wrong, we just admit to it, we fix it, and we move forward. And that's my style. And you can see uh, plainly that that's what I've been doing for the last eight years in a very nonpartisan um, way. And we pull people together to solve big issues and we've been able to do that and really move the county forward. We've, we've done more investment and more things in the county in the last probably eight years than the entirety of the existence of the county. I mean, we've really moved the county forward and that's what I want to do at the city. I just want a chance and an opportunity to move forward, set aside all those political issues and all that other political, I would like to say BS, and just focus on our core issues and get back to what makes a city great? I mean, we used to be known as a small, I mean, sorry, we used to be known as a big city with a small town feel. We used to pride ourselves on that. But now we're a shrinking city with big city problems. I want to get us back there, and I want to ensure that all people in Green Bay have opportunities that I had growing up. And that's important to me. Well, Chad, I appreciate your time this afternoon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm.